The DMT normalization module is a software add-on for LabChart used when performing in vitro experiments on isolated vessels with Danish myotechnology wire myographs. The module calculates the micrometer setting at which the vessel will have a normalized internal circumference with a suitable resting wall tension. This process is analogous to the pretensioning of rings in traditional tissue bath studies. Data for the DMT normalization module is obtained by increasing the micrometer setting stepwise and then recording the resultant force signal in your chart window. Here we see the resultant force from increasing the micrometer setting from 1030 to 1055 to 1065 and finally to 1070. In order to properly use the DMT normalization module, we first must configure the DMT normalization module settings. The first parameter in the DMT normalization settings is the eyepiece calibration. To calculate the vessel wall tension for a given pressure, and therefore the normalized internal circumference of the vessel, the DMT normalization module needs to know the vessel length. Vessel length is measured by using a calibrated eyepiece with the dissecting microscope. This is where you enter the calibration value for your eyepiece in millimeters per division. The second parameter in the normalization settings menu is target pressure. This is the transmural pressure for which the DMT normalization module will calculate a corresponding vessel internal circumference. Enter the target pressure or use the default value of 13.3 kilopascals or 100 millimeters of mercury. The third parameter is IC1 over IC100. IC100 is the internal circumference corresponding to the target transmural pressure. Normalized internal circumference, IC1, is calculated from IC100 by multiplying it by a number less than 1, usually 0.9. The next parameter in the settings menu is the online averaging time. If you perform the normalization procedure online, the force reading corresponding to a micrometer setting is determined by averaging data from the online average time period. This is the period of time immediately prior to the point at which the delay time ends. If the delay time is zero, then the online average time period is effectively immediately after the point at which you click add point. If you perform the normalization procedure online, you will also set up the module so that when you click add point that there is a delay before the force data is added. This is useful when you know how long the force reading will take to stabilize after the vessel has been stretched. You are able to click add point immediately after adjusting the micrometer and entering the new setting and the force data will be added automatically when the delay time period ends. The last option in the DMT normalization settings menu is to play a sound on delay completion. You can choose a sound from the sounds drop down menu or by clicking the browse button. Please note that parameters in the DMT normalization settings, especially target pressure and IC1 over IC100, are configured for the use of small vessels with the DMT system in the DMT normalization module. If other types of tissues are used, then experimental parameters, especially target pressure and IC1 over 100, should be determined for that tissue. Once you have configured the DMT normalization settings, we can click OK, and it would be most convenient for you to save them in a lab chart settings file so you do not have to work with them daily. Although you will not be working with the DMT normalization settings on a daily basis, you will need to perform DMT normalization on each channel with each experiment. Since channel 1 has already been analyzed, let's look at channel 2. To do this, I'm going to go into the channel 2 myoforce menu, and I'm going to use the window tile function so that we can view our chart data on the right hand side of the screen while working with the DMT menu for channel 2 on the left hand side of the screen. The first option in the channel 2 DMT menu is the tissue endpoints. These values are entered from your calibrated eyepiece on your microscope. They are used along with your eyepiece calibration to calculate the length of the tissue. The second parameter is the diameter of the wire you are using. Using the DMT normalization module is relatively simple. You select a region of data once the tissue is stabilized, and you enter the micrometer reading. Here the micrometer reading says 1030. After entering the micrometer reading, you click Add Point, and then proceed to the next step. Notice that when I entered Add Point, 
it dropped in the force calculation for the highlighted region of data. Proceeding to step two, I'm going to highlight the region of data where the force is stabilized and enter the micrometer reading of 1055. Now we'll proceed to the third point. Highlight the stabilized region, enter the micrometer reading of 1065, and click Add Point. After entering three points, the DMT normalization module for channel 2 will be able to extrapolate the micrometer reading at which the target pressure of your vessel will be 13.3 kilopascals. Clicking Add Point, it plots the internal circumference versus the resting wall tension in millinewtons per millimeter, and it tell us, tells us the micrometer reading at which we need to set our micrometer for bath 2. Using more than three points, however, is recommended as it will make your normalization more accurate. Adding a fourth point, the micrometer reading of 1070, now tells us that our micrometer needs to be set at 10. 53, which is probably a more accurate value to reach the target pressure of 13.3 kilopascals. Please note that in this file, the micrometer readings were entered as comments into the chart data for post-acquisition analysis using the DMT normalization module. However, to save time in acquisition and analysis, you can use the DMT normalization module in real time as you record. In this case, you would set the micrometer reading, enter it here, and click Add Point. After the delay time has elapsed, the DMT normalization module will take the mean of the data during the average time and automatically enter it into the DMT normalization module. At this point, you could choose to have it play a sound to remind you to come back to the bath and readjust the micrometer reading. Whether used in online or offline analysis mode, the end result is that you get the micrometer reading at which this bath should be set, at which point you will adjust the DMT micrometer reading on this bath and the force should decrease. Overall, the DMT normalization module will help you save time during acquisition. In the past, researchers were forced to export this data into a third-party software in order to plot this curve calculate the micrometer setting at which the target pressure of 13.3 kilopascals would be reached. 